Despite all the anti-Russian rhetoric in the Western world, a celebration of the Russian language has begun in New York with a focus on the referred 19th century poet Alexander Pushkin. RT's Caleb Maupin has the story. Of a week of activities to commemorate and lead up to the day of the Russian language that marks the birthday of Russian poet and writer Alexander Pushkin. And as you can see, there were displays of Pushkin's poetry, Pushkin's fairy tales. We also had performances by children. There was music. It was an all-out celebration of Russian culture and the Russian language at the United Nations headquarters. Russian delegation has always supported multilingualism and the role of Russian language, who's helping a number of delegations to communicate with each other. Russian language used to be subject to some attacks, and it was always protected. Unfortunately, we have to protect it today as well, although we live in so-called civilized world. We had an opportunity to speak with some of the guests about how they felt about the Russian language and Russian culture. And why it is that at this time in particular, it's important to highlight Russia's vibrant history as a civilization. Here's what they had to say. It's very important to sp split the politics from like the real life, the, the languages. I and mean, it's a language, it's a life, so we should not really mix language with politics and stuff. And even like, you know, like the, the people, we should not really mix politics with everything. Politics is something different, so we should really... And the language actually puts you much closer to the people. I think language is very important because it puts people much closer to each other. That's my opinion. I'm from the United Kingdom, I'm British, and I think events like this um, calls for diversity and inclusion. The fact that I'm here and to learn more about Russia, to see the other side of Russia, the Russian Federation. Masiba. Thank you. Russian culture, the literature, the music, the art is phenomenally rich and inspiring and glorious. And we are being deprived of it in this country now. Now, as you can see, this is a very elaborate display about Russian fairy tales, Russian art, Russian poetry, the Russian language, and the importance of Russia's history as a vibrant civilization with a beautiful culture that goes back hundreds and thousands of years. Caleb Maupin, RT, New York.